One day, while on vacation by the sea, I met my wife, Cynthia. I made the decision to take advantage of the beach and sun while on vacation near the sea. I made the decision to go along the coast one day and take in the breathtaking views of the ocean. I noticed a stunning woman sitting on one of the benches and admiring the sunset when I was strolling on the sand. Her graceful figure and bright eyes instantly attracted my attention. Cynthia was an incredibly attractive woman, and her appearance made me freeze for a moment. She had graceful features. She was the owner of beautiful, smooth skin and sparkling eyes. Her hair was long and silky, emphasizing her femininity. When I saw her for the first time, I saw sadness and loneliness in her eyes. But despite this, she was irresistible, emitting that very genuine attraction. Having met her at close range, I was able to examine her even more closely. Her eyes were deep and sparkling like a lit flame. She had a beautiful smile that bloomed on her face, giving her a unique charm. Every detail of her appearance emphasized her natural attractiveness and gave her a special charm. I was fascinated by her looks and attractiveness, which matched perfectly with her inner beauty and charm. I decided to come up and say hello. Hello, sorry to bother you, but I just couldn't pass by without noticing you. This is such a beautiful sunset, isn't it? I smiled as I turned to face the girl. Indeed, it is really lovely and calming. I relish every second. Well, I concur. I apologize if I frighten you, but David is my name. I love the weather and the sea here on vacation. David, it's nice to meet you. My name is Cynthia. Here on this glorious coast, I also rest. This is my favorite vacation spot. Hmm, very nice, Cynthia. How did you get here? Where are you from? I'm from Dortmund. I have been looking for this place in the advertising booklet for a long time. Where are you from? Do not believe it, but I am also from this city, I answered with a smile. Can't be. The world is so small, isn't it? I came here to escape from everyday worries and enjoy the beauty of the sea. What a coincidence. Who would have thought that we would both be here at the same time? Isn't it wonderful? Hmm. We continued to talk share our impressions of the place where we grew up, and discuss our common interests. I soon realized that we had a lot in common, and our communication was easy and pleasant. Look, Cynthia, I have an idea. We are from the same city and enjoy the same things here. Can we spend this vacation together? So, I think it will be much more fun. Yes, really interesting idea. I always like new acquaintances and the opportunity to share experiences. I will gladly join your company. We spent the rest of the holiday together, getting to know each other, learning about our interests and dreams. Every day was filled with adventure, laughter, and unexpected discoveries. I learned about Cynthia's passion for travel. She was such a cheerful and inspiring person, eager for new discoveries. She is. As our holiday came to an end, we both realized that our acquaintance was something special. Our communication was natural and deep. We decided to continue our relationship after returning to our hometown. And so, a few years later, we decided to get married. When Cynthia and I got married, our lives were transformed. We created family comfort and enjoyed every moment spent together. I worked as a truck driver which allowed me to travel all over Europe. My job was to deliver loads of various goods from one city to another. I enjoyed the freedom on the road and the opportunity to see different corners of this beautiful continent. My trips often lasted several days or weeks. I have traveled through picturesque landscapes, passed through mountain passes, and visited various cities. Each time there was something new and exciting. I cherish the independence and freedom of the open road as much as observing the shifting scenery. Cynthia was employed as a store assistant at the time. She was endowed with a unique charisma and interpersonal communication skills. Her duties included giving customers information, making product selections with them, and providing friendly service. Cynthia was open and friendly, and her smile always delighted customers. 
When I was at home, we took long walks in the parks, spent time together in nature, or simply enjoyed cozy evenings at home. We also went on vacation to various exotic places to enjoy new, beautiful places together. Our home was filled with love and warmth, and every day with Cynthia was special. Life with Cynthia was full of adventure and meaning. My life with Cynthia was filled with work, love, and mutual understanding. Despite the split time when I was on the road, we always found ways to keep in touch and stay close. Cynthia always left me notes and letters that I found in my truck cab. They filled my heart with warmth and love, and I looked forward to returning home to hug her and tell her about my adventures on the road. We shared our impressions and dreams, made plans for the future, and supported each other in all endeavors. Cynthia was a beautiful woman with exquisite features. Her eyes shone with a bright spark, and her smile gave her a special charm. Her hair was long and shiny, and she always had impeccable style and elegance in her look. I have always admired her outer beauty, but I was even more attracted to her inner strength and kindness. Cynthia was able to cook delicious and varied dishes that always filled our home with aromas and delighted our taste buds. Every day with Cynthia was an adventure filled with love and understanding. We have been married for 21 years. I never thought that something could happen in my life that would make my hair stand on end. I was used to a measured, well-established life and thought that it would always be like this. But one day, one incident changed everything. Cynthia called me with a request. David, hi. Hello, Cynthia. Yes, let them take it. I don't mind. Great, David. Thanks. I'll call Carla back and make her happy. Carla and her husband, Stephen, were very good friends of ours. We often saw each other and supported each other in difficult moments of life. So I didn't hesitate to let my car be taken. It's been about three days since Cynthia asked me about the car. I was traveling across stunning, verdant grasslands on a twisting route. And then, out of nowhere, an automobile passed me and caught my attention. My eyes were so unbelievable when I gazed. It was my vehicle. Without a doubt, that was my license plate. I was astonished at first, but I was also thrilled. I observed how quickly this vehicle became a small private sector. Located not far from the main road, I just had time to rest, and I decided that I would just visit my old friends, arrange a surprise for them. They obviously arrived there in a rented house. There was a truck stop nearby. I parked and went to the nearest roadside shop to buy goodies. Do not go to visit empty-handed. I took a good brand of beer and scored delicious snacks. Then I headed towards this private sector where my car turned. We had to walk several kilometers. But I decided to take a walk because it was really very beautiful here. There was something to admire here. And now I was already in the private sector and looked at the courtyard surrounding me to see a parked car and then I found my car near a two-story house. I knocked on the door, but no one came to the door. Then I turned the handle and the door opened. It was not locked. I went inside and called to Carla and Stephen, but again, no one answered me. I started to feel a little awkward and insecure. Maybe I had the wrong house. But suddenly I heard voices on the second floor. I carefully made my way up to the second floor. Here, a small terrace overlooked the inner part of the courtyard. It could be accessed through glass doors. I walked up to those glass doors and couldn't believe my eyes. It wasn't Carla with her husband. It was Cynthia, with some strange man. I heard their conversation, and anger began to boil in me. Just in case, I took out my phone and turned on the video recording. I put the phone in my breast pocket. The camera peeked out of my pocket and recorded everything. These bastards sat in two armchairs and drank wine. Hmm, Gabriel, I'm so glad we were able to get out on this vacation, Cynthia said happily. Yes, Cynthia, it's amazing, and you did a good job with your husband's car. I like it, the bastard replied with a smile on his face. Yes, David will not guess anything, though he definitely won't know about our adventures. Let him calmly travel and earn money for me for gifts. Cynthia said with a laugh. Okay, we didn't come here to remember your husband. 
Come to me, my fish, said the bastard. Cynthia got up from her chair and sat right on the bastard, exposing her chest. These creatures began to undress and lick each other from head to toe. Then my patience snapped. I understood everything and went to the terrace. I took a bottle of beer, cracked it open, and hurled it towards those cretins. Clearly, they were surprised to find me here. David, how come you're here? How did you travel to this location? Stunned, Cynthia shook off her booze and jumped off the guy. Well, yes, I made the decision to go see my pals and give them some alcohol. And now you find yourself here. This is no less fateful case than our first meeting. Oh, you bitch, shameless creature. How could you? I spoke out. Oh, you asshole. Yes, I'll throw you out of here, Gabriel yelled, wiping spilled beer from his muzzle. Try it, bastard, I answered. Enraged, Gabriel ran towards me. I stood up, ready to defend. But then, suddenly, Gabriel's legs got tangled and caught on the blanket that Cynthia casually threw off when she got up from her chair and climbed on this bastard. He staggered and, by inertia, flew forward. This bastard flew past me and crashed into the glass doors, which began to crumble from the impact. The last huge piece of glass stuck at the top came crashing down and landed right on the idiot's neck. Then Cynthia screamed in hysterics, her face covered with drops of blood that spurted from the bastard's neck. She wiped the blood with trembling hands and screamed. I myself was in shock, because it all happened in a split second, but I calmed down and was definitely not going to feel sorry for Cynthia. You're stupid, bitch. I didn't want him dead, but that idiot asked for trouble. But you can find a new one. And you don't even need to hide. And I'm leaving. And I'm leaving. And I don't want to see you again in my life, I said and left. My flight was delayed because of what happened. The police and investigators were investigating the incident. But thanks to my video, it was clearly clear that it was a ridiculous accident. But I would call it karma. I was released and I immediately began to deal with the divorce from Cynthia. Calls and texts of apology regularly came to my phone, but there was no way I was going to forgive such a betrayal. I continued to build my life without Cynthia, and I wasn't bad at it. I have a new family. Anna has become a new light in my life. But we were in no hurry to legitimize our relationship. I was able to become happy again, and I was glad that I was able to discard old grievances. But Cynthia could not improve her life. Because of her deception, she was left with no job at all, was dependent on all of her friends and family for financial support, and eventually turned to alcoholism. There was nothing further to hear about her, and I had no desire to. What's your opinion about OP? Thanks for joining us in our stories where revenge is served hot. Please consider subscribing to our channel to ensure your next chef remains loyal. Tune in for the next one to get your revenge appetite fulfilled. If you're below 18, hold on, it's not for the faint-hearted.